last day with the little ones for the week. You guys ready? Of course. Okay, let's go. I got it, Mama. There we go. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I forgot my camera. Two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you're falling, huh? Ice cream. That's not ice cream. You shouldn't be eating it. That's gross. That was some good ice. The girls were grabbing these icicles and eating them. Yuck. Kids will be kids, man. Freaking kids. <gasps> Just out of curiosity. Should you know, Papa? I guess it doesn't taste bad. No wonder they do it. Oh, no, it has an aftertaste. Girls, you can't just be eating ice off the car. That's gross. Yes, you can. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see a damn thing. Got my handy dandy helper. Ooh, quick brush. Ooh, there we go. That's better. So last time we came here, this place was a hit with the kids. Who's ready to have some fun? Of course, <laughs> You are in there. So I don't always get to do this, but when I can, I try to take the kids out to do something fun right before taking them to their mom's house. That way they end the week with me on a good note. That didn't work out as planned. They wanted to go, Pshoo! I couldn't do it. Well, that was fun. Oh my goodness. You know, it's funny because I feel like in a lot of ways kids mature and age you, but at the same time, they help you stay young. That, that was one of the moments of them helping me stay young. I love that. Okay, apparently Levi's got something to show me. Let me see, bro, I'm ready. Look at my, look at my bed. Ooh, I, ooh, I like cards. that. Baseball cards. Dope, and I love the bedding. That's awesome, it goes with the room so well, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I missed this place. I was sleeping in here while I stayed the week at Kira's. Dang, I forgot how cool this place was. Yo! Yo! What is this? Oh my god! The audacity, Kira! The audacity. Are they? How old? Like a week and a half? I'll take my chances. Those are old. They don't smell old. <laughs> don't be dramatic. Normally, I wouldn't eat this, but Crumble Cookie only has limited edition flavors, and I really was really jealous that I didn't get to try this one. So I'm gonna try it right now. It's like it was meant to be. Oh my god. That's worth whatever stomach comments is gonna give me later. <laughs> Definitely didn't taste like it was a week and a half old. <laughs> what's up, Lucy? What's up? What's up? Peace out, girl. Take care of my kids for me, okay? I'll try. <laughs> Love you guys. Peace out. I love you. See ya. I love you. I'll see you soon. Wow, this house is quiet. And I'm not a fan of it. One of, if not the hardest adjustment of the separation last year was having to say goodbye to the kids. I felt like every time I said goodbye to them, I was saying goodbye to a little piece of myself. Obviously, emotions were pretty high at first, and so that didn't make the goodbyes any easier. But with a little time, I changed my perspective, and instead of now looking at goodbyes with them as me losing a piece of myself, I began looking at the positives. And the biggest positive is that the kids spend quality time with someone they need in their life, and so they're gaining something. Okay, this is clearly way too stuffed, so we'll take that off for now. Pour a little soap. What they are gaining is quality time with their mother. And when I changed my perspective and looked at it that way, it made the goodbyes so much less sad. It's really taught me the power of perspective and how the same problem can be so much more enjoyable and easier if you just change your mindset a tiny bit. Obviously there are times where it's perfectly acceptable to complain. We all do it. But if you have a problem and you can't change the outcome, just change your mindset to it and it'll feel like an entirely different outcome. I promise. I mean, it doesn't come right away, and there's still going to be times when you hate whatever problem you're having, but it makes it way more bearable. 
and sometimes kind of exciting. Not to leave them, but to see them excited, to see their mom. You know what I mean? I've decided that the night they leave will be the night I do their laundry, their bedding, and just clean up after them. That way I have an entire week of the house looking spotless. Spotless. mentioned how the kids bed frames aren't supposed to get here for another 60 days they're claiming covid supply chain issues which might be valid but that was like two years ago 60 days that's a long time they are pretty sick though so maybe they're worth the wait i don't know <sighs> i really can't wait for those beds to come in and that way i can get started on decorating this room I do not like the way it currently looks, but that's okay. Anywho, that's the story of today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!